When Google decided to map out most of the world for our viewing pleasure, it was always inevitable that some strange stuff would get captured. After all, we are humans. Weirdness is kind of our thing. And because of that, these instances of head-scratching oddness and straight-up craziness are endlessly fun to explore. So let's zoom right in, shall we? Keeping the key details about blockbuster movies under wraps during production is no easy task. But apparently, it's a lot harder with Google Maps satellite view constantly looming above. Disney learned that the hard way when attempting to hide their Millennium Falcon prop for Star Wars The Last Jedi between some shipping containers, they failed to cover the top. In no time, keen-eyed web users spotted the iconic spaceship at Long Crawl Studios in London, proving that Star Wars was never really set in a long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. It all happened in London, mate. But a Jedi spacecraft isn't the only example of a cinematic universe melding with our own on Google Maps. Batman was captured here in France passing the Street View car while presumably in pursuit of a criminal. Either the Batmobile is in for repairs or Batman's taking a more environmentally friendly approach to this high-speed pursuit. On our next stop, we find ourselves in Western Australia, where a plush penguin is taking a pleasure ride. Attached to an old-fashioned penny-farting bicycle. Why the penguin's tagging along is even more puzzling than why a penny-farthing was this guy's vehicle of choice in the first place. Maybe penguins help with balance and air resistance on those big-wheeler bike rides. If so, this little feathered friend is certainly earning his trip along the beautiful Australian coastline. Over to Finland now, where a horse can be seen being spooked by the Street View car much to its rider's distress. Unable to keep control, the frame-by-frame -frame movement reveals the rider being thrown from her hooved companion and left comedically in the dirt. Finnish horses are obviously very serious about their online privacy. Whoever was responsible for this trashed vehicle in South Australia better have had a backup ride, because they dumped a vehicle 70 miles from the nearest town. Little is known about the reasons behind the wreck and run, but I suspect it was either stolen or worse, being in Australia, a funnel spider snuck in and terrified the owners. In the latter case, abandoning the vehicle would be the only rational solution. From dead cars now to cars parked around the dead, check out this bizarre series of parking lot graveyards discovered around the USA, like the Tallahassee Creek Indian Cemetery, which finds itself surrounded by parking spots for a strip mall in Oklahoma, or the burial site of Mary Ellis, a woman who was buried in 1828 in a plot of land she owned. As is often the case with oddities like this, ownership disputes resulted in the gravesite remaining in place in spite of other developments. In Mary's case, a cinema parking lot was built around it, seven feet lower than the grave. While it's better than digging the bodies up and moving them, I can't help feeling this is just asking for poltergeists to rise up and wreak havoc. But then again, maybe trying to find a parking spot on a busy day is havoc enough. But if your taste for odd constructions hasn't yet been satisfied, check out these impossible buildings found in New York, Dallas, and Houston. While they appear to break all known laws of physics, the explanation brings us, surprisingly, to the artwork of M.C. Escher. The artist was known for creating surreal pieces showing impossible perspectives, and this Google Maps phenomena, the Escher Effect, is named after him. These errors occur when multiple satellite images of a location are stitched together incorrectly, resulting in images overlapping at the wrong angles. While these warp buildings would be mind-bending to discover, Google has fixed the issue now, so we'll have to stick to the original pre-Google artist if we want more Asher weirdness. Another surreal sight can be spotted in Argentina, in this guitar that's seemingly been left behind by the country's tallest musician. In reality, this two-thirds of a mile long instrument replica was created by Argentinian farmer in memory of his wife who loved guitars. The green cypress and blue eucalyptus trees cultivated over decades now stand as an impressive, bittersweet monument, viewable to anyone with access to Google. Some things viewed from above can be even more deceiving, like this apparent UFO found lazily parked under tree cover in Romania. Viewed from ground level, however, this aircraft is more terrestrial in nature. It's actually a water tower. Still, it's a pretty wacky design, and I can't help feeling its designers were sending a welcome message to any passing UFOs. A less optimistic message to extraterrestrials was left by students at the University of Athens. Their message paints a slightly bleaker picture, saving the aliens the trouble of coming down and figuring out Earth sucks for themselves. But honestly, I don't think Earth's all that bad. Except for maybe this next place. I'm talking about North Korea, which is the last place you'd expect to see Google Street View in action. 
But surprisingly, select locations from the nation's capital, Pyongyang, are available to explore in 360 degrees. With patriotic banners, gigantic portraits of supreme leaders, and a characteristically small number of pedestrians, these shots sum up the isolation and ghostliness of the famously reclusive hermit nation. But while North Korean leaders are known for their seriousness, over in Nova Scotia, Canadian government officials in the city planning department imbue their town with humor, specifically in the area of the town which features streets named this, that, and the other. Just imagine the shenanigans asking someone where they live only for them to reply, that street, just off this street. But if you reach the other street, you've gone too far. Some funny moments captured on Street View are entirely accidental. Like this Google driver who seemed to forget about the massive camera mounted on the top of his car while in Northern Ireland. As the car moves along through this low tunnel, the camera suddenly switches angle, indicating that it's hit the ceiling and been knocked off center. Hopefully, the two bemused onlookers helped piece the car back together rather than standing and laughing. But then again, I'm not sure I'd be able to resist a good chuckle in this situation. Humorous locations continue in the street view for the Buzz Mill Cafe in Austin, Texas, where a group of interesting regulars congregate in the back room. Hey, as long as they pay, it seems anyone's welcome at the Buzz Mill Cafe. Moving on from people dressed as animals now to real animals up close. These camels were captured on the desert road southeast of Dubai and didn't seem to mind the 360 degree camera mounted car passing by on their travels. The newcomer probably made a nice change from miles and miles of sand, sand, and more sand. In a more oceanic variety of wilderness, 500 miles off the south coast of Japan, an island can be found that wasn't always so big. Rewinding the clock on Google Maps reveals that this volcanically active site significantly changed its appearance over a series of months and an amazing transformation which was captured by satellite. Beginning as two distinct islands, repeated underwater eruptions of volcanic material slowly but surely join the two into one. An island being born certainly isn't something you see every day. But while some islands are undeniable marvels of nature, others are more like crimes against nature. Like this, the island of Dawes, found in Mexico. The island is filled with hundreds of creepy, decrepit dolls hung everywhere in unsettling arrangements. The dolls were reportedly placed there by the island's former owner, Don Julian Santana, who believed they warded away the spirit of a young girl who haunted the island. The island is fully explorable in Street View, which, while undeniably spooky, at least seems a little less scary than actually going there yourself. Almost as scary, at least on first glance, is this Street View discovery of a man dangling from a billboard in Puerto Rico. Thankfully, it's actually just a clever advertisement in the same vein as these hilarious billboards, so no need to call in a rescue team. Unless, of course, someone else has got stuck trying to help the fake fellow down. This shark, trapped on a roof in Oxford, England, is in an even worse situation. This far from the sea, how it ended up there is baffling at first. But truthfully, the roof-bound shark is nothing more than an art installation made of fiberglass and commissioned by the owner of the house to give his street a little quirkiness. I can't say it doesn't work, and it's even become something of a local treasure. <laughs> I told you people are weird. When you take on the impressive task Google has of creating fully 3D modeled versions of towns and cities around the whole globe, there are always going to be a few slip-ups. Take this bridge, for example, which appears to have all the structural integrity of cooked spaghetti. Google's 3D building algorithms, using averages to calculate the topography over larger distances, has made the error of assuming this bridge follows the lay of the land a little too closely. But that's okay, Google. Nothing an update won't fix. It's another story for the inhabitants of this boat, though, as they slowly and oddly calmly sink into the water. Luckily, though, it's just another render error caused by Google blending together several images of the same location taken at different times. Or at least that's what these precarious sailors will be telling the owner of the boat. This next discovery could give quite the fright to any fans of West Virginia's resident cryptid, Mothman. Taking a street view trip down to the McClintic Wildlife Management Area outside Point Pleasant, the cryptid makes a surprise appearance in the distant tree line, or at least someone in a pretty convincing costume. Considering how obscure this location is, you have to hand it to this person's commitment in hoping someone would stumble across the snapshot. Or maybe it really is the Mothman. Let me know what you think in the comments below. While encountering Mothman is certainly creepy, the people who first made this discovery in 2013 had even more reason to be freaked out. The satellite shot appears to capture a killer's attempt to dispose of a body into a lake in the Netherlands, complete with a trail of blood to match. But Reddit detectives were soon on the case and found the truth to be less terrifying and more adorable. 
The scene actually shows two people on the pier, very much alive, in the midst of a game of catch with their dog. The ball can be made out behind the dog, and the blood trail is nothing more than the trail of water left on the absorbent wood as the long-haired pooch returned from a swim. Or at least, that's what the dog wants you to believe. What's the craziest thing you've ever come across on Google Maps? Let me know in the comments section down below, and thanks for watching.